Bonjour, bonjour et bienvenue. Je m'appelle Kaz. Euh, mon nom de moi est le Kiwi Des. よろしくお願いします。はい。はい。<笑> Razor Blade. Razor Blade. Shall we duel? So yeah, if you didn't understand what that meant was like, uh, I. Oh, are you nodding for affirmative? You are nodding for affirmative. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I wanna, wanna get him. I kill him. Many blue. I love you. So yeah, Oswald, having been rescued from the netherworld, now is uh, throwing down with Odin in his pad for some reason. Throwing it down to Odin. Yeah. I guess coming out of the netherworld is like moving up in the world. It's like going to... Six from, feet up. It's like from heaven to hell. Or, wait. Now here, here heaven. is where I get to demonstrate some rather awful things. So why are we going? We'll get to, to that in a minute. Okay. I better listen to the story. Oh, Shadow Knight. Oh, shut up. The king of a nation has recognized the power you hold. Oh, Shadow Knight. Will you not listen to my request? <laughs> wait. What arrogance. Ah. I can compensate you. I shall bequeath one of my castles to you. Ooh, Tis small bequeath. and old, but it should be a suitable reward for what I ask. That's where it used to do in addition, this I shall other reward woman. you with a magic spear. You may have seen it in war, but it's a work of art. Tis far more valuable than any other cipher. Mm -hmm, I don't want it. You stubborn fool. Is this still not enough for you? Fine. Then what about my daughter? Will my daughter Gwendolyn be enough for you? Gwendolyn? That was that girl's name. What do you ask of me? Ah, now you show interest. I have a target for you. Wagner, the vicious dragon that lives on Horn Mountain. Since you have already killed one dragon, this should not be too difficult. If I kill this dragon for you, you'll give me your daughter? I swear. What is it you seek? Should I just kill it without knowing why? You do not need to know. There must be some ulterior motive. But very well. I shall accept your request. Do not forget your promise. We go out to search for Gwendolyn's hand through the blood of another dragon. Yeah, you're you're fighting for a, a wife or slave girl or whatever. Wife, it's a wife. Y yeah, I well it's a, it's, we know okay, how it look, ends look, up. It is. It's a this is the shady deal behind it all. It's a Domenici marriage. All right, and it looks like you didn't get a freezing charm. No. Oh. No, I didn't. That's what I was talking about a moment ago. I had spent all of my money getting bags and, and eating food, which is why I'm sitting at a healthy 19 food level and have 433 health to my name. But uh, it also left me with not enough resources to go get the charm. So I just have to suffer and get frozen a bunch and take damage over time and drink warmer potions. Should be one coming up here. Here it is. I only orange. take four damage. Yeah, warns you up. You stop it! <laughs> I'm trying to Hulk out here. Stop interrupting me. Even demons get frozen cold, Kaz. If you don't not have your warmer potion, you will be frozen. <laughs> So I have a 
question. I feel like having a little bit of my own warmer potion right here. Mm -hmm. Oh no, you have coffee, don't you? Ah, that's good warmer. <laughs> Isn't it like 11 o'clock at night where you were at? It's like a, it's, it's pretty late where I am, but I always... Hey, I always drink coffee at night. Well, it's... And everything in me. So, well, I don't know. I'm just sort of used to it by now. I guess the alternative would be is drinking warm water. Or warm milk. Warm milk is good. With honey. I have a feeling that the warmer potion is something more like whiskey. Or brandy. <laughs> oh no. Whiskey doesn't tend to warm me up. It tends to get me very quickly well, uh... drunk. But also... I'll Whisk warm you right up. A little, uh, a little flush on your nose. Uh, and also, good whiskey has good flavor, so each whiskey tastes like savory or something. Some of it tastes like, you the know... The W potion. Yes. The what? For whiskey. The Wario potion. The Wario potion. For wh. Oh, no, this time the trolls were hiding underneath the snowdrifts. To get them out of there and kill them. And here I am greedily digging for their treasure. Huggy, to... Huggy the Sasquatch wants frozen hugs for you. Frozen yeah, hugs! Trying to uh, extirpate a few troll molars. Get on extirpate. Blast. He expectorated on me while I was trying to extirpate him. Expectorate, expectorate the expected. I think I do end up looting from one of them, but I, I don't get a troll molar. That sucks. They're so damn rare. That's unfortunate. They're they are quite rare. What do they mean? And it may come to the point where I where I uh, intentionally go out looking for them. I've done that! Or later. It doesn't work very well. Well, you have to put on a luck stone and then drink a lucky potion. I got a luck, 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 luck. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Luck, cluck, 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 cluck. Well, it said Revenant Infector of Souls appeared, but, uh... All I'm I sorry, see Desecrator. Is, all, Desecrator of Souls. All I see is a Sasquatch. But that ain't... Yeah, that ain't him. He's, uh... He's elsewhere. I guess that answered my question. And I don't know where. I guess that answered my question, Kaz, about, you know, hmm. it, can Sasquatch freeze you if you have uh, Warmer on? The answer is yes. Oh. Because, it, yeah, they can. Because I thought the frozen charm, you, <laughs> there it you is. pretty much gain resistance to that sort of little function. Yeah, you you basically cannot be frozen at all while you have the charm on. It, hey, an onion! What's he doing here? Uh, he's hibernating. So you keep, like, killing these guys and not killing the revenants. We Revenant. And that's because he hasn't shown up yet. It's, you know... It's not my fault that he's lazy or he's sleepy. There he is. You disturbed him from his bear, bear cave. Look at him. Hibernating bear. He, he's, he's, he's in bear rage mode. Bear rage mode. Look at that. He's got such like a toothy grin. It's, it's, it's really risky to finish your combo as Oswald because as the last part of it, he leaps up writing it right into the Revenant's mouth. So you'll see me like hold back from that a lot and you know try to hulk out against him and just stay on the ground below his attack. If you stay just this far away from him, he will not attack you. He'll just float around. It's only when you get close that he does the like leap up and raw and his thing comes out in one frame, so don't try to bait him. That's just dumb. Oh God. Okay. But with a little uh a little patience. He is finished off, not too, not too difficultly. Difficultly. Hardly, hardly. Hardly. Yeah, finished off without too much difficulty. Too charming. Mm. Now throw two or more of them into the mix, and then you know you have a recipe for disaster. To encounter someone here, you seem troubled. Would you care to warm up? Aw, oh, listen to how concerned he sounds. Like, who are you? Cute little guy. He understands that I do not have a fur coat like he does. 
<laughs> little smug jerk. Would you like to buy a fur coat, Cass? I can. Anyway, I know notice. where you can go get okay, one. Okay, food it's level free. 19, and now food level 21. <laughs> what has Kaz been doing? Uh, foes on burst. The answer is eating. I I went into the little. I went into the Puka Village and ate a bunch. We'll we'll see that later, much later in the food video. Where I eat everything. Wait a second, your your thing like grew quite a bit. Your numbers jumped, Kaz. I, they did. So I went from food level 19 to food level 21 because I ate a bunch. I think it was like an omelet and some other chicken stuff. I had some chicken kicking around, and I licked that kicking chicken. It was Kaz, chicken kicking licking. Kaz, your your beer hmm? batter chicken is really good. Your beer can chicken. Remember when you made it that day? Hmm. For, for Dungeons and Dragons? I do. Good. It felt like a real Dungeoneering person. <laughs> Kaz, do you remember that day you made beer can chicken for Dungeons and Dragons? It's quite a sentence. No, it's not. I like it. Come on. No, it is. Really? Well, no, no, no. The, the better time? The better time was when I got that Euro meat and I made the. the uh, the Euro sandwiches. Oh god, that was so good. And then you made, like, tzatziki sauce from scratch. Mm. Oh gosh, I could just, you know what? That's the thing. It's like, you could definitely dip, like, the meat and the tzatziki sauce with itself, and it would taste off. Where the hell did you get that meat, though? Like, did you get it at, like, h or something like that? No, there was a there was a halal market across the street from me. Hala hala! <sighs> yeah. The it hala, comes in the this perfect market. little square box. That's actually a sore point for me because I used to be able to get this like five dollar square box of frozen gyro meat, and it's the greatest stuff, and it's really cheap for what it is. But they stopped selling it, and like every place I knew that used to carry it now doesn't. Well, it's like the whole world of, it's like the whole Middle Eastern world is in turmoil. What the hell is up with that? Uh, well, everyone. And specifically, oil. why can't I? Specifically, I will tell you, I will be very, I will be uh, semi-serious about this, but specifically, Libya, why we are in Libya is because, and I didn't usually pull this crap, but it is, it is basically about oil, because it's about the French owning on and offshore drilling sites, and then being like, calling in the favor or something. Because uh, Gaddafi's burning that shit. So, it's about oil. And about food. Well, not food. It's just about oil. And hugs. Gaddafi wasn't getting enough hugs. Well, for me, it's about halal meat, and I can't get it. I know! And that honestly started happening years ago, so. It is a sad thing. Who knows? I might have to check that market again. I haven't actually oh. been back in a long time. I'm raising my hand. I'm raising my hand. Can you see me raising my oh, hand? Well. I have a question. I no, have a question. But go on. Question. Yeah. So if if you can't find the the reverend on time, if you can't find him, revenant. Can he flee and like just go? And you the, the battle ends and you have like a D or something. No. No. no that that doesn't happen. Does he flee? The only enemies. The only enemies who flee at all are the little uh, frost wisp things. Like either the frost wisps or the fire wisps. Really? I didn't know that they flee. Yeah, they will... Yeah, the, the frost ones will sink into the ground and die. And the flame ones will rise up into the ceiling and die. Well, that's not really... It's not really... It's not really fleeing, or it is fainting. Well, that's the closest thing there is to fleeing that there, there is in an enemy in this game, so sure. I'm willing to give him that. I'm not for sure that. Yeah. No, I really, really, really am not for sure that. Like, no. the guy, if. No, absolutely not. If you didn't defeat him on time. That just like does that? not happen. Oh, no. I don't know anything. And what what on time? Time counts up? No, he, like, just goes away. He just stops. <laughs> I've, I, I've, I've done <laughs> this before. I had a, you are making it up. I can't be. I remember that I was doing it and then it, it didn't. It didn't go away, it just left. And then it the battle ended, and I was like, what the fuck? It just is like, I'm bored. I mean, his death, his death animation is to fade out. I mean, that's a thing. Yes, but I, I just really remember reading, well, okay. Like, I don't, I'm not 
not gonna... I don't know, I can't You may have dreamed it. I like, might. you were just up too late at night playing Odin Sphere, and you're like, Man, I that really wish these enemies would run away sometime. That might be a thing that had happened, because I remember that time. It is a pretty dreamy game. You know, it's well, kind of... Okay. It's got the parallax and all the friendly noises. And whiskey potions. Well, I, I know that... I know that during that time, I had probably played here for... A good three or four hours. It was a bedtime thing. That's how I, I took Odin's here. I would not play over hmm. one book. Like, I would... I just... I wouldn't. Either I stop in the middle of it, of the story, go to bed, or I go right through it. And then go to bed, and then have one story read to me. Wow. Because I don't, I don't know. That's a lot all at once. It sure is. I don't even think I could watch all of my Let's Play videos of Odin Sphere back to back like that. I, it's like being well. Okay. Uh, maybe I could. Let's let's be real about this. It's kind of like playing golf. You know, sometimes. You know, if you if you're playing the game of golf, it is actually pretty fun and entertaining. And you can play for about two hours, two and a half hours, three hours, however long it takes you to get from one end to the other. And you'll be like, yeah, this that's is fun. true. But when you there's something compelling about playing the game that I don't think quite comes through in watching it. There's just yeah, exactly. Whenever I start playing, I want to keep going. Now I do I do tend to keep myself to just one act. Like the different like recording breaks that I've been doing, usually. But then sometimes I just get on a roll and I'm like, oh, there's so much awesome stuff that I want to do. And, you know, I want to mix a huge potion and eat lots of food and mix alchemy and stuff. I really enjoy inventory management too, which I think is a prerequisite to enjoying this game. Yes. Well, I like to have everything in chaos in mind. <laughs> it's just how I collect things. Oh no! Yeah, the, the the important part is not, you know, organizing things necessarily, but wanting to collect more of them and somehow keep them. Yeah, this damn troll molars. God, I, I tried and tried and tried. I've only got one before. So here, yeah, this was a little bad on my part because when I saw the enemies spawn, I'm like, oh, I'll just, you know, hulk out really quick, take out the flying one, and then be done. But then, you know, the trolls sort of crawl out of the woodwork here. Why you call pop up out of their snowdrifts and suddenly... They're sasquatches. They're yetis. Be because you... Well, because you get the troll molar from them. Yeah. Well, then and it's clearly his tooth that I extricated, so... How do you know? Maybe he ate one and he just, like, popped it out. It's like, he yeah. ate a, a tooth. No, he ate a troll and then he, like, popped up his <laughs> He ate a <laughs> He ate a troll, teeth and all. Yes. Okay. Yes, teeth and all. <laughs> he ate them with Thompson's teeth. The only teeth strong enough to eat other teeth. Yeah. Chomp, 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 chomp. He's got chompy. He devoured that grammar like Noam Chomsky. Noam Chomsky. Oh god, now I'm Chomsky. Ah, uh, my arms smell. Stared them down like the nose gaze. What, are we there? Are we there yet? Oh no, gap. <laughs> Just about. Thank you. There's a goblin to <laughs> talk to here. Thank you. Let's see. Do you want an egg? I don't think he has anything I want. So I'm just gonna fast forward to the boss. We cleared out all the other areas, and we're ready to take down a dragon! Oh, we don't actually take him down, though. Spoiler. <laughs> Where are you? Come out! Wagner! This whole dialogue is awesome, by the way. You disrespectful fool! Who calls my name? There you are. That sword, you, are you the wielder of the Belder River from Ringford? I do not know of you. 
But I heard that he had been shot by the fairies and sent to the netherworld. Even death can be overcome. Oswald! So you do know me. Still, that is not my concern. All I want is your life. <laughs> Shadow Knight! I tremble in anticipation. What? You have no idea how long I've awaited this moment. See here? Do you remember this spot? The wise and noble dragon, Hindle, was killed here for no reason. Yes, I killed a lizard. And I shall kill another. Will not be enough to charge you to the bone. Your shadow will never fall on land again. <laughs> wow. Return to the netherworld and face eternal torture. I will end you, Wagner. Your death will give me a faint light of hope. You shall join your friend in death. Go to sleep for eternity. Your shadow will not that, that fall one bit right on, there. on land again. I am totally using that on somebody. The next time I really need a <sighs> just deleterious taunt. I'll be like, yeah, your shadow will never fall on land again. <laughs> they had good writers for this. <laughs> ah, oh. It comes through here and there. I you know, there's We're going to get to some quite cheesy lines as well after not too long, but that one really knocked it out of the park. Uh, and to be fair, they're writing for a rather excellent character in Wagner there. Having not as much jump height as the other characters makes makes it a little more difficult for Oswald to get on top of Wagner's head here. Also, the fact that the last part of his combo makes you jump means you often jump right off of his head where you don't want to be. So I don't have any easy outs to him. So I just kind of have to take hits where I can get him in, play conservatively, keep my health up, which I, I'm not doing right now, turned. but I, I'm sure I'll eat you something after not too long. Right I didn't even mean to. Oh, and a healthy dose of painkiller too, to make sure I don't immediately die from being burned or tackled or something. Get back here! Back! Ah! Look at him run. Eat your meat! Eat your meat! Eat your meat! 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 Yeah, I meat, pay meat. for it too. Ugh! What a waste! It's too bad you can't stun him with a bone. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, there's really no way to stun something that large. Yeah! They get him in his eye. Like, ah! Wait, you got him, right? That wasn't all for hmm? not, right? I did attack him and get damage in, sure. Yeah, but then you got, like, pinged. Well, I got tackled because he was doing the sliding tackle. Which is, like, he's too high up at, at certain points for me to jump over, so he, I get, like, cattle swept down into it. You have to jump just like that, really. It's more of timing than anything else. Oh! I don't like being on fire. Oh man, he's just casting meteor and freeze. Well, fortunately, there's <laughs> there's a little ice guy there to help me out of the fire. Okay. <laughs> well, wait, it does it really like yeah, you? if you were on fire and you touch the ice guy, it will put the fire God, out. You really Same thing for if you're frozen. And, like, and... Fix something. Uh, you need to drink something, eat anything. Oh my god. So, down some elixir here and be right as rain. Wow! How how much is elixir? I don't think I've ever seen well, you do elixir. The elixir will heal you for a thousand. Okay. Damn it. Yeah. It also requires carotiers, like the healing potion. How much 
Well, get enough hits in and Wagner goes down. Is he dead? He's dead. No. Actual dead. He's king dead. Dude, he dropped a little present. Look at that. That ring is mine. Give it here. It belongs to me. You merely requested that I slaughter a dragon. We said nothing about any rings. You've no idea of its value. Now, hand it back. If you wish to fight me once more, I do not mind. But I do not guarantee your survival this time. You... I have fulfilled my promise. It is time for you to hold up your end of our deal. That's what you get for not being honest. I was born a king. I must continue to act like one. Although my opponent may be arrogant and disrespectful, I did make an oath. I shall not break my word. The spear and the castle and the other thing are yours. Gwendolyn is asleep. I cast a spell on her as punishment for disobeying me. The one who awakens her shall receive her undying love. The spell will compel her to act in that manner. How can you treat your own child as an object? She is my daughter. I shall treat her as I wish. Now go. My daughter sleeps in the old castle in the forest. There she is. That bird I saw, it was you, Gwendolyn. 